What is going on everyone? My name is Shaq Mac, and today I have another gameplay. They brought the OG God back, Robert Pack. Oh man, I've wanted a good card like this for so long. In the new leap year packs, I was going to say lunar year, but no, that's not it at all. <laughs> Sleep year. Today doesn't exist, so remember, do as much shit as you want. <laughs> But in this leap year collection, we have this Robert pack. It was originally a ruby, but Evo's to a amethyst off of 300 points and 20 dunks. Nothing too crazy at all. Was able to get it done pretty quickly. But this Robert pack in previous games has been ridiculously overpowered. Do not get the whole size, weight, all that mixed up. He is six foot two, and he is 180 pounds. But he is the best dunker. I have ever seen and the reason I say that mainly off of nostalgia reasons because I believe it was 2k16 There was a silver Robert pack at some point in the 2k my team cycle and he was just absolutely Unstoppable you couldn't stop him. You really couldn't it was ridiculous and hence why I was so excited to see these cut This card in packs as you can see here three-point shot uh, with the Evo goes up to an 88 mid-range shot goes to a 92 and free throw goes to a 90 so pretty good with a 95 driving lap 95 close shot as well well, and a 92 draw foul, but it's that driving dunk, man. Six foot two with a 97 driving dunk. This card has ridiculous stats. 90 ball handle for a card like this. It's not right. 90 steel, 85 perimeter defense. He's got 96 speed, speed with ball and acceleration. <laughs> He's so fast. He is such an athletic player. It's ridiculous. 97 vertical. He's got 94 lateral quickness as well. He's somewhat strong for his size and his weight so that's good too but this card is ridiculous man he has only seven hall of fame badges and 28 gold badges which does kind of suck but at the same time he doesn't really need them most of them are his finishing badges except for pickpocket a defensive badge which is actually quite helpful very very helpful then these gold badges lob city passer dimer flashy passer pick dodge he does have clamps thankfully although it is only a gold so it'll be interesting to see how he plays uh he's got heart crusher interceptor off ball pest pogo stick Tyler's Defender, Trapper, Ankle Breaker, Relentless Finisher, Teardropper, Acrobat, Pro Touch, Difficult Shots, Slithery Finisher, Bailout, Needle Threader, Pass Fake, Maestro, Catch and Shoot, Thankfully, Space Creator, Stop and Go, Hot Zone Hunter, Hot Start, Quick Draw, and Four General. Overall, not the greatest badges you'll see, but obviously it is an Amethyst card. But this is an absolute budget baller, man. I, I am telling you, this card, it will wow you. He really will. I was able to pick up the Ruby version of it for about seven. 50 if I'm correct because Nate Robinson at the moment is going for a fair bit purely because it's Nate Robinson and he goes to a pink diamond eventually this one was able to pick up on a somewhat snipe for 750 and he sells for 12k so even if you don't like him you're making a profit off doing it so there's really nothing you can lose when getting the card like this but I am going to show you guys him in shoot around I'm going to show you what his jump shots like show you how fast he is and I cannot wait let's get into the shoot around anyways this card God, man, look how fast he is off the off the back. It just so many flashy dribble moves for a dude who's six foot two. Robert Pack brings back so many memories. I love this card so much. The step backs you can do, the things you could do with that old card, especially with a mix of the animations. Oh, legitimately made him perfect for a budget baller card. But this card is so fast, so ridiculous. He has a nice three point shot. Only three of the five three point zones are hot zones, but that's absolutely fine because this card overall can knock down shots. The gold quick draw is perfect for him. This one is one that I'm not sure is guaranteed will go over to online side of things as easy as maybe other players. I do think his shot is all right. It's not like the most ideal shot in the world, but I can definitely live with it. It's not something that I'm, I'm horrified to use. I can get used to it. But obviously, he's got the dunk animations to go <laughs> crazy in these online games. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm so happy the card is this good. He's got the 96 speed. He's doing windmills, 360s. He's gonna be ridiculous in game. I want to see him at least posterize someone because he has the potential to do it. The windmills and everything, man. A 
six foot two dude coming in and dunking on you. It's a tiny slasher, man. It's an absolute tiny slasher with incredible animations. But I think that's all I really need to show you guys. Um, I'm going to get into the starting lineup. Going to be interesting to see what the starting lineup is going to be for these games. But I think it's going to be quite similar to our usual one. So I'll go and show you that now after I green this shot. Yep, let's go to the starting lineup. So this is what our lineup is going to be. Like I said, quite similar to our usual ones. We have Giannis Antetokounmpo and Kevin Durant surrounding Robert Pack. I don't need to say anything about these. Do you guys know how good these cards can be? It's just this Robert Pack that I'm hoping can work over in the online, uh, Triple Threat online specifically. I think he'll be fine. I truly think he'll be fine. He has enough space to work with. He's fast and Triple Threat really works for fast players, especially ones you can finish and shoot. But really, just that all-around offensive game, if they've got every single aspect of it, they should be able to dominate in Triple Threat. Defense is a bit hard to do in, in Triple Threat online, so I think we'll be able to get some pretty good work in with this Robert Pack. Oh, I am excited, man. Nostalgia's kicking in. Let's get into these games, man. So all the teams we're going to come up against in these games are probably going to be very difficult. And as you can see here, he is not given an easy task here at all. Robert Pack, he does have that gold claim, but it's going to be stopped every... It's going to be hard to stop every single one of those players, even with the players I've got already. So let's just play our best game possible. He's just going to take a whole effort right now. Because if he's smart, he knows how to play with Dwayne Wade. All right, Dwayne does have some pretty good defense. So, Robert, this is where your offense needs to come in and go crazy. Step back, straight through. Not even close to what I wanted to do. I wanted the handoff. He's still not got his fucking stamina back. Gonna have to just take the shot with KD. Hit those ones when I get the chance to. I... I was very, very surprised that Robert Pack lost that stamina that quickly. I mean, I guess you can sum it up to 2K's BS, but man, eh, not a good start for Robert Pack. And I think it's purely because of who he's playing on. But Robert, this is where you come in and you slam it down. That's what we like to see. Nothing too fancy there, but that's all good. That's what Robert Pack does. He's an athletic player. All right, we've gotten him to miss there. Good defense from Robert Pack. That's an easy midi. Can we knock that down? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Robert Pack, good start. Very good start. Four points to start off. Gold clamps is very difficult at this point in the game, especially with when you're on someone like Dwayne Wade, but it doesn't matter because Robert Pack's shot is so nice online. Oh my goodness. Bad shot. Come on. Come on. Grab that board, Giannis. We're going out. He already knows that I'm going to Robert Pack, though. Oh, 2K gives everyone animations but me, man. Right there. Oh, that was really not helpful, 2K. I don't know why he needs even more help, but you know what? That's all good because Robert Pack going straight to the hole. It doesn't matter that Giannis is right there. Man, he is, he is such an offensive threat. Good defense, Robert Pack. There we are. Going out. Can we go straight to the basket? He's decided to take KD. That's all good for me, man. That's all good for me. I'll take the easy points with Robert Pack. Oh, of course he gets the animation with Giannis against Giannis. It only makes sense that the only person to beat Giannis consistently is Giannis. So, step through. Come straight around. Oh, Robert. Back on top! Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Giannis didn't realize who he was coming up against. He's coming up the O. He's coming up against the OG overpowered finishing machine. I'm so frustrated he didn't finish that off. Oh, it's very tough to stop someone with this good a team. Robert Pack, just keep doing your thing. Step back, cut straight through. Oh, he's doing his thing, man. He's doing his thing. Robert Pack finds himself wide open on the side. Knock that down for me, please. Thank you, Robert Pack. Good jump shot. Okay, this defense is so tough. I'm telling you, man. Dwayne Wade is the most underrated card at the moment. Most underrated card. I heard he's going for a buy now, right now, which is ridiculous. Space right there. Knock it down for me, please, Robert. Oh, that's so frustrating. Because you already know what he wants. Yep, and he's getting the he's getting the blow by straight past me, man. Gold clamps is not enough in this game. Robert Pack is a good player, but it's just Dwayne Wade is so much better. I came here for fun, and this dude's come here for sweat, man. Come on. Oh, I can't. Oh, he ran out of stamina again. How is he how is his stamina so bad at the moment? I don't understand. Kick out KD. Go straight through. Easy find Giannis, put that up and in. Okay. Unless we can manage to pull off a bunch of good stops here, I don't see this going too well for me. Yep, he's going to green that up with Dwayne Wade. It's Dwayne Wade, man. His jump shot is so nice. His jump shot is so nice, I'm telling you. 6 for 10, though, 1 for 3 is not bad for a card like Robert Pack. And Amethyst is giving you this. An Amethyst that goes for 750 is giving you some pretty good animations, decent shooting. He actually can move the ball around. One thing I'm so disappointed with in this card is that his stamina goes down like that. And I don't know whether that's just because just he was playing on Dwayne Wade. But Robert Pack's stamina goes down so 
quickly and it's very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. But overall, he didn't actually play too bad. Overall, I think he played well. If his stamina was better, which I can't remember off the top of my head. His stamina is a 95, but he's just losing it so quickly. And I think it's just because he was playing on Dwayne Wade, man, which is frustrating for sure. But I'm not I'm not complaining whatsoever. I think against, against players, because not everyone has Dwayne Wade. Obviously, not everyone has Dwayne Wade, nor are they going to have it all the time. I think he was coming up against players who are taller and not as fast. He'll definitely be able to absolutely, absolutely cook it. Game number two. All right, this one's not, uh, not as difficult whatsoever. This one should be a bit easier for us to compete against. We got a Kyrie Irving that Robert Pack's coming up against. So this is where I'm going to show out with this card. I'm going to show you guys why I loved this card in the first place. We're going to hand that off to Robert Pack. Step back. Step through. Can he manage to find, finish it on Shaq? Or almost. He almost managed to do so. Cut Robert Pack. Here's why I love him. Here's why I love him. Go crazy. Easy stuff. How has he lost the stamina so quickly, man? I don't know whether it's, if it's just 2K he's doing or his stamina is actually that bad. But man, he loses it so quickly. Give that to Robert Pack. Step back. Knock it down for me, big man. Knock it down. Knock it down. Oh, it doesn't matter if he's contested, bro. It doesn't matter if Robert Pack's contested. Making a miss again. We're going straight past Shaq. Shaq cannot hold him. On top of Kyrie Irving's head. That's why I love him, man. That's why I love him. He That used to be... He legitimately could not be stopped back in the day. I think it was 2K16, if I'm remembering the right card. He was a silver card. But, man, I love that card. I love this card so much. He brings back so much memories for me. Give that to Robert Pack again. Step back out. Cut straight through. Robert Pack on top of Shaq's head as well. He's so speedy, man. Easy steal for me. We're going out. Robert Pack just hit it on the cut. Hit him on the cut. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just easy dunks for him. I want to get a fast break. I want him to get flashy. I want him to get flashy so bad. Give me that. Come on. Go, 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 go. Robert Pack. Go, Robert Pack. Go, Robert Pack. Up step. Oh my god. Did you see that hop step? I am telling you. He is so athletic. He's so ridiculously athletic for a point guard. It's ridiculous. An undersized point guard who plays like an actual, like, six foot ten point guard. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I would have loved him to throw that down, but that's all good. We're hitting him in the corner. Knock it down for me. Nope, can't get that. That's all good, because we got Giannis and that out there. Step back. Cut straight through. Oh, he was set. If you saw that little switch up, he was ready to throw that down on his head, man. But that, that uh, takeover just... You know, it's ridiculous. This dude's given up. Robert Pack has forced the dude into raging. Go crazy. Oh, man. Do something. Oh, well, what's new? What's new? I do well, and all of a sudden, they lag me out. But you guys saw You guys saw he was like 17 straight points. It was going to be an absolute walloping. Potentially 21-0. 2K has other ideas, as per usual. So, you guys see why I love him so much. I'm going to get him into one more game. I want to play once more with him because that game was too easy. Too easy for Robert Pack. First game was really difficult, and I think he did stand his ground. Just unlucky the way it all went down, especially because he had to wait and wait. Game number three. Here we go. Up against another leap year card in Gerald Wallace. Come Malone and Lance Stevenson as well. Two pretty good budget cards. But I'm going to show this dude why Robert Pack is the best budget card in the game at the moment because, oh, I love him so much. We're going straight through behind the back. Oh, Robert Pack's already got him going. Step through, right over, hop step, find Giannis in the side. Oh, come on. 2K screwing me over. This dude's going straight in the post. Oh, please, for the love of God, don't be one of those hook players. He's going to do it. Oh, my God. I hate players like this who abuse the bows. Robert straight through. Coming through with a handoff. Step back. That's enough space for a three. Come on, knock it down. Oh, Robert Pack. Right, let's go. Straight past everyone. Robert Pack. That's what I like to see. The right hand throw down. Bad start to start off at the moment. He's missed a few wide open ones. And he's been unlucky with the matchups he's gotten so far. Which is annoying. But oh my god. I thought he got out to that. But Lance Stevenson, man. He is a budget baller. Give him the space. Go to the right. Hop step, easy finish, over the top of Gerald Wallace. Good offense there from Robert Pack. He is an offensive beast in this game. Go left side. There we are. We got in the wide open space, getting fancy with the dunks. Okay, we really need to clamp on on defense right now because even Kevin Durant is getting blown by right now. Blocked by Kevin Durant. That's what we like to see. Oh, Giannis, you could have reached out and grabbed that. You got long arms. Come on. He, he's just abusing Gerald Wallace now. It's so frustrating coming up against people who know how to abuse players. Uh, but I can't do anything about it. That's the only problem. Hop step. 
Hit Kevin Durant in the corner. Knock it down for me. Come on, Kevin. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> I thought he'd missed that, but that gold dimer. I have not used him as a playmaker that much this game. I've really wanted to show him off in, in his finishing skills. But he is a playmaker. He does have that, that gold dimer. So, I mean, he can be he can be a playmaker. Hand off, Robert Pack. Knock that down for me. Come on, Robert. Knock it down. Beautiful stuff. Good, good. Three-point shot for Robert Pack goes down. We need to clamp up right now because at the moment, all he's doing is coming down, getting easy finishes over the top of every single one of my players. It's not just Robert Pack right now. Bash shot. There we go. That's good defense. Grab that board. We are going out. Give that to Robert. Step through. Step back. Hop step. Making him jump. Beautiful stuff, Robert Pack. A wide open slide. Oh, that's just 2k BS, man. That's 2k BS. It's all good, though. Gotten the steal and the dunk. Oh, he made up for that. He definitely made up for it. He could have really easily screwed that up. Right there. Come on. 11% covered. I even jumped at that, and 2k's giving him a white contested. Ah. Oh. Come on, give me your white contested. He's jumping. Come on. Wide open. Green light. There we are, Robert. Nice. Nice. Okay, he's got his takeover. That is good. 17 points. Six, 17 to 16. Good defense, Giannis. Bad shot again. Look at all this bailout that he's getting. I'm blocking him on every attempt. Oh, and he's getting an animation to bail him out. I can't stand this game. I can't stand it. My team plays great defense just for him to get bailed out. Cut straight back through. He's come on. He's got takeover. Hop step. Dunk it over the top of everyone, Robert Pack. That's what I like to see. That takeover is deadly for the Amethyst, Robert Pack. I just need to make sure he doesn't get any threes right now. Oh, come on, that's a steal. Right there, come on. Oh my god, 2K wanted to give him that so bad. Gonna stop, pop, knock it down for me, please. Robert, no. 20 to 19, I just need a finish right now with Robert. I need him to just make sure he keeps this game in reach for us. Out to Giannis, I can't trust that, which is annoying. Out, KD, Robert, out to Robert. Robert, please, knock it down, please. Robert, no! Oh my god. Oh, and he's got the animation to win it. That is so frustrating. He had every animation go his way that game. And Robert was playing well again. Six for 11, two for five. Another good game. He just got bailed out every time. I was hands up every time. And then he just goes straight around Robert. And that's the only frustrating thing with this card is that he's amazing offensively. But defense, I can't get anything to go for him. He has the gold clamps too. And so Lance Stevenson towards the end, all he had to do was hop step. And even if I was in front of him, 2K would give him the animation to go around. And he was so frustrating. But Robert Pack offensively gave me those memories. Gave me the memories for sure offensively, but defensively, definitely a little bit frustrating. Anyways, guys, that is all I'm going to do for this Robert Pack gameplay. Overall, I do not like him on defense, but I love him on offense. He gives me those memories again on offense. I think the most of the memories that I have from him come from playing five on five and all the dunks he would do on top of other people's heads. That's where I get most of my memories from with this card. Defensively, I forgot that he can be a little bit of a liability, even with those gold clamps. A little bit frustrating. I'd really like to see him be one of those budget cards that you know you can trust, but he really can't be trusted in, in this game. That's only because he is a liability on defense. It does suck. It sucks for sure, but I loved him on offense, man. I have a bias towards him. I have a big bias because back, I think it was, I'm almost certain it was 2K16. That silver Robert pack was ridiculous. So, so good. So to see this card back in the game, it's not a decent card for sure, but I wish he was a little bit better on defense. That's all. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below any video ideas, suggestions, and constructive criticism. Everything is very much appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.